Shazam! Issue 8. Uh, Jeff John's rating with Scott Collins on the art, so we've got a bit of a flash. Only one artist? Yes. I'm shocked. I thought he was correcting me there. I I was like, I think so. No, no, I I, I, I didn't read it, remember. Um, Um, But just shocked that that we're back to one artist on the book. Yeah. It's a notably different artist from all the other ones that we had before. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So, just real quick. Mm -hmm. Do you guys like where this is heading? He didn't read it. I didn't read the last one. I, I, the, the delays just kind of was too much. Pete, do you like where this is going? Um, because I don't. Well, and and the, and the context of the the idea that there's a seventh champion, because obviously right now we have six. Yes, uh, I like that. Right, and there's a possible seventh champion. Right now, the end of this issue kind of teases that the seventh one, um, could be Billy's father. Because we see him in like a yellow, like a, it's all, almost a reverse right. color. Is a yellow and red uh, right. outfit Should at the end. Should that? <laughs> <Should dad. laughs> he's been uh, thinking of that all week. I don't think he's uh, a real seventh. I, I think this is a fake okay. out. I, I think we're getting okay. an, an actual seventh at some point. All right, you're making me feel better because if this is where it's going, actually, it's that trite. Hey, Matt. T- they, they do bring the tiger back with them. The talking tiger. He could be if the seventh. Talk- if it's talking Tony, great. I don't like the idea that Billy's dad can go, right, and show up, and then suddenly Billy wants to share the power with him because we, we've learned that he has to want to share the power. It's not something that he can just give away. Yeah, well, it doesn't work that way. But the impression I get from this issue, though, is that he's not consciously made that choice. It's just that his mind is muddled because this, this family member's back in his life, and it, it sort of happens subconsciously that his dad, right. you know... It gets connected to the power when some yeah. of the kids get disconnected. I, it, however, this issue made me think of the movie so much because mm. I feel it shares a lot of the the beats with the climax of of the movie. Sure, with with Black Adam and Savannah there and whatnot. Um, uh, but yeah, we we get to the end. So th- throughout, it's it's Billy going across the different lands and uh, uh, just the one, really. I mean. Well, yeah, but he, he's he's collecting the the you know, and we Sorry, see it sounded like what? hot uh, it sounded like hot fuzz then. What? <laughs> and you were just oh. the one, really. Yeah. <laughs> um, but oh. we see we see that each so the the wizard explains to Eugene and Pedro and and you know with the white rabbit there. Yeah, it's, it's, so yeah, he, so they're in the they're in the Wazenderlands, right? Right. So they're they're right. in there. He's explaining that something's up with the the powers and Billy's heart's divided. Um, Mary's back with the foster parents in the real right. world on Earth. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Darla and Freddy are in the Darklands, which is where Billy also is. So Billy finds right. them after having a bit of a conversation with this deceased Captain Marvel, who tries to trick him into helping him. Um, yeah, which which they also the White Rabbit calls that. Or I think it's the White Rabbit or the Wizard calls the the, the Darklands like the the tricksters. Yeah, right. So right, right there, you have something to. To, to think about and um but yeah and he's all i could think of was dead man as sure just uh just the tone and whatnot uh there but so each we find out that each of the you know when you split the powers is meant to sit on the throne to each of these lands and so it was a really cool spread of each one of the family members so you have like darla and with the animals Right, uh, which makes sense because in mm-hmm. her characters, um, you I remember you had um, I gotta pull it up now, and you got, it, you got Freddy in the fun lines, by the looks of it. Fun, um, right? You got Mary in the in the Wazinder. Yeah, you got uh, Billy's in the real world. Uh, you Eugene got, in the game. Eugene in the games. Pedro's in the Darklands. Yep. Yeah, and then the seventh. We don't know. That'll be the one that was uh, crossed off. Remember there was one in the, yeah. the station that was like, right. can't go in there? Destroyed. That'll be that one. Right, which I thought was the... Uh, which I thought was was the, the, the monsters, right? Hmm. So, um... Well, I mean, because that, yeah. that's the thing. So we have Savannah and Black Adam, and Savannah is trying to convince Black Adam to work with him and Mr. Mind to get these secret society of uh, monsters, you know, right. out, out of whatever... And Black Adam's kind of reluctantly going along with it. He's not really happy. He tries to fight them. 
Mm-hmm. Um, but they give him the uh, seven deadly sins, the the sort of the monsters mm-hmm. that we've had before in the book. Yeah. Uh, well, I say the book. It was there was you know there was the rebirth, the, uh, the new fifty two. Yeah. But that was the first part of the story, right? This is right. a sequel to that. No, it was. And yeah. then one way to the movie, that's why I said it reminds yeah. me so much of, of what happens in yeah. the climax there. So, um, but at the end of the book, uh, Savannah and Mr. Main do have a moment with each other where, like, oh, he doesn't, we, we, haven't, we haven't told him the real plan and what we're actually going to do to him. Because they, they promise they can bring, like, his son and wife back and they, they promise him all sorts of things. Yeah, and he, he talks about Isis and yeah. Osiris. And I was like, oh, man, that's New 50, or New 52, that's uh, 52. 52, yeah. Uh, not, not the new 52, yeah, just death 52. 52. <laughs> right. Um, and you got uh, Darla and Freddy are with uh, the tiger, and uh, Billy finds them, brings them back home. So, you know, a lot of them are back home, uh, mm-hmm. and basically Billy has to go and save his dad because Black Adam's going to fight him with uh, the seven deadly sins. Um, so we get a bit of an action scene. Um, and, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm a fan of Scott Collins' art. It's not quite the style that this book was before, though. No. But I do like, you know, his work on Flash he, and his work with John's before. Yeah, he works with John's really well. So you can tell that John's just trusts him because it's going to end up being okay. I just... The, the Darkland stuff looked really good under Collins. Oh, it did, yeah, because like, it's it, all black and white in the background. Just, yeah. just, just Zam's in color, yeah. Right, it reminded me of Hammer Horror stuff and Tim Burton and, and Schindler's List. Yeah, well, not that far, <laughs> Pete. <laughs> but you're all right. There's black and white and red. <laughs> uh, look, all that stuff looked really good. Um, the uh, the action, the Seven Deadly Sins, their personifications look properly creepy under Collins. So I just, while I wouldn't have picked him for the art, it he works with John so well. It's hard to find fault in it mm-hmm. outside of stylistic you know also, concerns colin is a, is a relatively quick artist yeah that too <laughs> you know, he, can, that he can hit the, he can hit the deadlines we've seen yeah. that uh, you know over yeah. over many years yeah yeah so i'm just hoping that she's she's uh she dad is in took me a second it isn't the end game because if it is i'm gonna be kind of disappointed i don't think it is i think we're telling the story yeah. i mean obviously it's part eight of like whatever this arc is i assume mm-hmm. this is a 12 issue story overall but yeah um I'm not. I don't. Think this is the end game. I think the lesson, whatever lesson Billy's going to learn, and sort of make his choice by the end. Yeah. I don't think this is it. I, I think that, we're... that's that's been my favorite occurrence of you know Shazam under Johns is the the ability to share the power like that. Like it's that was always there. Like that's how Mary got her powers and Freddie, but the fact that he can whittle it down. Um, you know, uh, I just so I just felt like it would be something bigger, and I just, I just hope he's not going with his dad just because his dad's here. You know, again, because you don't know this guy, he'd be a bad guy. We don't know. No, I, I wouldn't worry about it, Matt. I, I don't. Th- this is not the end game of this story. Okay. This, this is this is not the end of the story. So, I, Billy- I really hope the listeners are paying attention to that clip, just in case. Why? Just, just in case, in in, in a few months, that is the end oh. game. Yeah. So we can just play that back for him. <laughs> <laughs> this won't be the end game. The end game is not Billy's dad's going to be the seventh along with him. And on, the only way I could see that happening is if the seventh does get trapped in this other verse and it never can be seen again. So he's, he's kind of an unseen <laughs> seventh. In that, which case, it'd be fine because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's a sacrificial role. <laughs> Dad, I've never got to see you and you never will get to see me. Goodbye, Billy. And let me never talk about it again. Yeah, if, if it's like a negative yeah. thing where the whoever takes the seventh role has to kind yeah. of like be abandoned to this, see, this realm, then it's fine. I definitely fine. feel that I've read enough Johns to know that the land itself isn't bad. It's been mischaracterized by Mr. Mind. And that when once it's reopened, then we'll have, you know. But I, see, I almost feel like it's going to be Adam, you know, because he's always been a friend of me to Billy. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't worry about it. I think you're worrying okay. too much, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> what, are you, what are you giving the issue? I'll give it a 7.5. Yeah, I'll agree with the 7.5. Yeah. Uh, it's good. Maybe it doesn't quite scratch the great itch, but it's good. <laughs>